Okay. So uh, this uh, this last year in December of 2011, uh, I, I uh, in Los Angeles I work for the uh, the school district, uh, uh, and uh, this uh, there is a separate division for adult education. Uh, and in mm-hmm. 2000, uh, in in December, the school board announced that they were planning to eliminate 100 percent of our adult education program. Uh, so we were a, 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 in in a bit of shock initially, um, and it was right before. Yeah, yeah. So um, it it was right before the winter break when we found this out. Um, so let me see if I can. Um, uh, pull together the the next screen, Derek. It, uh, so uh, we uh, started uh, some conversations over the winter break on how to to deal with the situation. Um, and uh, to give you a little bit of background, the uh, the program, the adult education uh, division, started in 1887, uh, which. Uh, 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 where we are here in in California is is quite old. I know where you are that uh, might not sound very old, uh, but uh, the first ESL and citizenship classes uh, took place in 1887, and we serve uh, have served as many as 350,000 students. Um, mm-hmm. if, so it, it 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 for us it, you know it's uh, in the U.S. It, it's it, you know for our city it's a pretty big uh, sizable number compared to other adult education programs. Um, however, just in Los Angeles, uh, we have 3.8 million uh, adult Angelinos who cannot, uh, in, in, in the uh, Los Angeles County, that uh, cannot read or write uh, well enough just to complete a uh, job application. Um, so really? we're, we're, yeah, so at, at, at the height, we were only serving a fraction of the, of the, the vast need for adult education. Um, uh, and then another uh, a figure to kind of contextualize things is that uh, with the kindergarten through 12th grade enrollment plus the adult education enrollment, it was uh, just under last year, just under 1 million uh, uh, students. Uh, so for the, for the adult education, it represents, um, uh, rep- the adult education represented 37% of the total enrollment. Um, and and yet, by comparison, only use two percent of the, uh, the the total school budget. Uh, the, the total budget uh, last year was about six billion dollars. So, we used a very okay. small amount uh, of the budget uh, to provide uh, it, it very cost-effective programs. So uh, we knew that this was a a serious threat. Uh, because already in uh, uh, over 50 school districts in just in California, they have completely closed down the adult education program uh, in in recent in the last uh, five years or so. Uh, and in fact, the new superintendent of the Los Angeles uh, school district, he actually closed down one of the adult education programs in a previous school district where he worked here in California. So we knew that this was a very serious threat when they said that they were going to eliminate the entire program. Um, and yeah. uh, so so we were fighting not only uh, for uh, uh, Los Angeles, uh, we, we also realized that if we didn't stop them from shutting down, in Los Angeles we have the second largest school district in the country. And so we knew that if they were able to close such a big program down, it would really embolden them uh, to, to close uh, programs across the country. So we knew it was very important for us to fight not only for ourselves, but also for those, uh, it, it, for adult education programs across the country. Um, okay. So, so that's kind of the, the, the background. Um, and um, so you can see in this slide here, it, uh, it says that our, uh, you know, our mission statement, our, 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 our mission was to advocate to, to preserve the program uh, and also to make it uh, politically unviable uh, for them to 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 shut it down, uh, basically uh, to put pressure in ways that would uh, prevent them to care from carrying out their plan to to eliminate the program. Okay. Um, so let me go ahead and continue. Uh, we um, we were able, fortunately, to build on some past experiences. 
Uh, and uh, here in this next slide, you can see uh, Blanca Perez, and she is the president of the United Adult Students. Uh, in two, two years ago, in 2010, the same uh, school board said, uh, decided uh, uh, to close down all of the, the adult education schools that are in rented uh, facilities. So uh, there was uh, this um, uh, uh, leader, Blanca Perez, who mobilized the students. I think it was about seven different schools that were in rented, uh, leased uh, facilities. And so she mobilized students at these, uh, these sites to uh, 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 push back against this decision. And so uh, in that case, um, working with United Adult Students, uh, the the community was able to collect 20,000 petition signatures, organize some protests, and in the end, the school board uh, changed its, its decision and did not close those rented uh, facilities. Uh, so that was a, a, a victory on a smaller scale uh, that uh, we were able to build on, and uh, this woman, Blanca Perez, uh, was, uh, was a key part of the campaign this year in 2012. Uh, when when we ha had to save fight to save uh, all thir there's about uh, over 30 schools uh, that we fought okay. to save. So here it gives you an idea. In the next slide, you can you can see a bit uh, where uh, the different school sites are spread out across uh, Los Angeles and also not just in the city of Los Angeles, but in some of the uh, smaller cities around Los Angeles. Uh, uh, from the Long Beach uh, up to the, the Valley uh, and uh, from Santa Monica th across downtown to the east side there. So it, it yeah. covers o over 700 uh, square miles. Uh, and uh, w one of the challenges that we, we had was uh, how are we going to mobilize this time in 2012 across such a vast area? Uh, and and that was uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, um, uh, challenges that we uh, for me um, the idea was how can we use technology to to address this uh, this uh, uh, this issue of geography. Um, so let let me see if I can go ahead and go to the next slide. Uh, so one of the first things that we did is we created these signs, uh, which you can see here. Uh, which is uh, we support adult education, and we included two key uh, messages that we wanted to get ac uh, across, which is that uh, there's better jobs through education, and uh, so the adult education is helping to helping students get uh, better jobs uh, and move up in their in in, in uh, uh, upward mobility, uh, and then also helping parents uh, help their children. For example, parents that are learning English to be able to help their uh, their children with uh, homework. Uh, and what we did is we put uh, two additional uh, pieces of information. We put the website, uh, and I was the, the, the technology uh, strat digital strategist for this uh, campaign. So I ran the website, and also I set up this, uh, uh, this mobile, uh, this, uh, not mobile, this uh, telephone number uh, that, uh, uh, that people could call. Now, what the telephone number did is uh, help us with this issue. The website and the telephone number helped us to connect with students and teachers and community members across this uh, huge area of the 700 uh, square miles. Uh, and, uh, of course, the website, people can access information. The, the telephone system is what has uh, particularly to do with the mobile, the mobile aspect of it. Um, uh, because we knew that uh, we needed to contact elected officials, and we wanted to do that uh, by getting um, as many people to call uh, the elected officials as possible to let them know that we were not happy with this, uh, this decision to eliminate the program. Uh, so what I did is I programmed using uh, using it's uh, based on um, uh, programming languages. I was able to. Uh, through, is a, a little complicated to set up, but what happened is when you called this telephone number, uh, it would be, first it would say English or Spanish, because uh, we have a, a, a lot of Spanish speakers in Los Angeles, of course. Uh, and uh, then the next step, it would let you choose the school in your area, uh, where in your community. Mm -hmm. 
And once you select the school, it would uh, redirect. It would it would give you a talking point, so you you uh, have something very specific you can say, and it will connect you with the elected official that represents that specific school in your community. Um, and uh, so that was uh, something uh, that became a very powerful tool for us because we have um, uh, you know folks across the city, and many of them are working during the day, but one of the things that we found is that our students have, uh, this is from informal surveys, about 9 out of 10 of the adult students have a mobile phone, whether it's a smartphone or a simple cell phone. And so uh, we knew that they would be able to call during the day, even if they're at work. Uh, many of our students don't work in offices. Uh, many of them have uh, factory jobs um, uh, or construction jobs. And uh, so we knew that during their break, their lunch break or their work break, that they would be able to use their mobile phones to call this number to reach the offices of the elected officials. This is uh, uh, what the flyer looked like. And um, uh, it, it was a very simple three steps, uh, as I mentioned. So on the left side is the English, and then on the right side is the Spanish. Um, so you can see, you choose the language, you choose the school, and then uh, you choose uh, or the type of school and then the, the actual name of the school, and then it connected you to the, the elected official. So the, uh, w what this did is it provided something very specific, very simple, that people could do across Los Angeles County to participate in the Save Adult Ed campaign. Uh, and in the, just the first month, we had generated uh, over uh, 1.25 million seconds of constituent calls to elected officials. Uh, and it That's really, bad. yeah, yeah, so it, uh, it was really a powerful statement uh, from our community that this is not acceptable to close these programs. Um, mm -hmm. So if we look at uh, some of the, the, the first calls that we we directed were we directed them to the school board members themselves, uh, and so this is uh, these are calls that happened during the first uh, few days of the of the campaign, and uh, so we have you can see seven different school board members. Uh, the top one is uh, Monica Garcia. She's the president of the school board, so she got a, uh, a, the largest number of calls. Uh, and this is actual calls. So it was over a, a thousand uh, uh, calls within the first few days. Um, and uh, they got so overwhelmed that uh, they started, some, uh, some of them stopped re uh, to accept uh, the calls. Uh, it really interrupted <laughs> their, daily, their daily business. Uh, so that uh, they, uh, we really uh, got their attention. So one of the uh, board members even said uh, that the staff started to say that you have the wrong number. Uh, so it was, uh, we, we overwhelmed them with the phone calls. And so what we did is after just in the first week, before the first week was over, we switched the calls uh, to the California legislators. Uh, and a big part of our our problem I I originates with the fact that our, our funding comes from the state level. Uh, most of our funding comes from uh, Sacramento, from uh, the from uh, the state of California. And what happened yeah. is that in 2009-2010, uh, the California legislators decided uh, instead of making budget cut decisions, they would push the decision down to the local level. Uh, and so in, uh, in adult education, we had dedicated funding, uh, what they called uh, categorical uh, Tier 2 funding. And they switched that in 2009-2010 to Tier 3, which was a general uh, school fund. And that meant that the uh, kindergarten through 12th grade were able to take money from our accounts uh, and use it however they wanted. And that's where we really started having the problems. It was when this change happened. So we we redirected the calls to the California legislators to let them know, hey, you may be uh, you may have pushed the decision making to the local level, but we want you to know we're not happy uh, with what the local level folks are deciding. Um, so sure. again, this is 
a, a breakdown here of uh, one day of, uh, of phone calls and uh, uh, to the different senators and assembly members in California. Um, let's see. And, and what, what we did is we, we had these blue signs, which I showed earlier, and we put them out throughout the community. And so you could see that, uh, you know, here's an example of a, a restaurant where someone uh, went to the restaurant owner and said, uh, would you please put this sign in, the, in, uh, in your window? And, and it's a very positive message. We support adult education. It's not very, there's no controversy there. Who, you know, so a lot of businesses put up these signs throughout the community. Uh, and it was mm -hmm. a way, to, for, uh, in this way we were able to do uh, two things uh, very quickly. Um, point them to the, the website where they could find out more information and also ask them to, to call directly uh, to this number which we had set up. Um, Here's a, another restaurant where the, the sign was put up. Um, another part of the, the camp, we also had banners, you can see, with the, again, with the website and the telephone number. In this picture here, uh, what you're looking at on the table is a petition uh, signatures that we uh, collected from throughout the community. And within uh, two weeks, and, and if you remember at the beginning, I mentioned that in 2010 we did a petition and collected 20,000 signatures. Uh, this time, this year in, in 2012, we collected uh, over 200,000 signatures in just uh, two weeks' time. Very impressive. And we also had a series of, uh, of rallies and protests uh, throughout the city and, uh, and in also in front of the uh, school board. Uh, and this this particular one uh, that you you can see here is the uh, the first one that we had that was in front of the school board. Uh, and again, we did this. Uh, uh, we put the telephone number, uh, call your elected officials, uh, and we also put the the uh, uh, website. Let's see. And so here's a picture from one of the the uh, protests in downtown Los Angeles, and you can see the blue signs. Uh, again there. Uh, yeah. and so we had other uh, uh, rallies uh, in, uh, uh, it, it thro uh, throughout the, the before the, the, the summer vacation. Um, we were also able to get uh, national coverage, for example, from the National Coalition for Literacy, uh, and they helped us to do a series of, uh, of artic uh, articles. Uh, on the from different perspective from student perspective teacher perspective community members perspective about the importance of adult education and uh, so that brought a lot of uh, a, a, a national attention to our um, our situation uh, and we we started to have about 10,000 uh, views uh, per month uh, average um, during during the campaign here at this point it was up to eighty thousand now we're at, we're at about ninety ninety thousand um, and we did many other things so uh, we also did letter writing campaigns town halls uh, and uh, we even um, uh, here's here's an example of a town hall that we had uh, this is a, a local celebrity uh, father Boyle of uh, homeboy industries who hosted one of the uh, one of the town halls um, and the, the response uh, was uh, very was tremendous. We 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 got a lot of support uh, from many different areas. One of the first people who uh, uh, came out in support of us was a U.S. Congressman, uh, Brad Sherman, and uh, his his family, uh, his parents, uh, father and grandfather were adult education uh, teachers, and so uh, he felt very strongly about saving this program. And his, his letter uh, uh, really helped to change the conversation once we got a, a U.S. congressman uh, involved. So this is uh, the person who is speaking here. Her name is uh, Evelyn Escalante, and she is uh, the vice president of the United Adult Students. So that was her speaking at uh, one of the protests outside of the school board uh, room. Uh, and what she was saying is, uh, mm -hmm. is uh, she was saying that education is uh, 
a right, it's not a privilege. Uh, that was the, the message that she was uh, giving there. Uh, and then she said, si se puede, uh, which is, uh, yes, we can in, uh, in Spanish. So, mimicking Obama. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, or actually, Obama was mimicking. He, he got the, the yes, we can from the, the Spanish originally. <laughs> Um, really? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Um, and so, yeah, so here's another picture of uh, Evelyn uh, that I mentioned who just spoke, uh, who's the vice president, and those are the petition signatures at the uh, press conference that we did. Um, and here, okay. uh, another part of the campaign was we pushed uh, uh, to get a, a, a um, resolution passed by the city council. Yeah, yeah, so basically this is a councilwoman here. Her name is Jan Perry, and uh, she is uh, uh, she's the one who uh, presented the resolution, and then we pushed to get it uh, uh, approved by the rest of the council members, and it was approved 15 to 0. So that was a, a big uh, success for us. But they, they don't have jur jurisdiction uh, over the school board, but it was still a very powerful statement for the city to, to, to make that decision. Uh, and so here's another one of our leaders, uh, and you again you can see this is Laila Boase. This is uh, more of the signs uh, that we had below the blue signs. And let me go ahead. Mm -hmm. And uh, is she, uh, Laila was an important person uh, in terms of uh, the delegations with the elected officials and pushing for the resolution to pass through city council. So let me go on to this next slide. Uh, with uh, This is Gilberta Gonzalez, and she uh, was the spokesperson for the Recall Monica Garcia campaign. So Monica Garcia, if you remember from before, she's the school board president, and uh, people were so disappointed mm -hmm. uh, with the way she was uh, uh, making her decisions in terms of uh, uh, what would be cut and what would not be cut that... Uh, uh, a recall campaign was launched to uh, tr uh, to remove her from office, uh, and Gilberta was a key really? a key person, yeah, uh, for that. So um, you can see here uh, there was a lot of uh, media coverage of the recall campaign, and here's uh, one of the TV uh, news uh, coverage of the of the recall campaign where it says "No la quieren," which means they don't want her, and uh, so. Let me go ahead and continue. And there was also uh, our biggest Spanish language Spanish language newspaper here is called La Opinión. So you can see uh, an, uh, coverage of the recall campaign there as well. And uh, it was uh, the recall campaign was started in March and ended in September. Um, and then uh, another part of our campaign was uh, going to uh, uh, Sacramento with some of the students and meeting with some of the elected officials who we had uh, give, uh, had such an impression on with the phone calls and with the letter writing uh, that uh, uh, we decided let's go ahead and send a delegation to Sacramento to meet with these elected officials in person. Uh, and so you can see uh, here with uh, Assemblyman Gil Cedillo uh, and here with Senator Kevin De Leon. Um, and um, so, yeah. So basically, uh, to summarize about the campaign, um, we started in uh, December 2001, and we were fighting to to uh, to keep the programs uh, from being eliminated. Um, there are programs that have been around for some some time, and and there's an education expert here in in the U United States. Uh, her name is Diane Ravitch, uh, and she said that in a tweet. On Twitter, she said, if we could afford adult education in 1912, why can't we afford it in 2012? And, and that was a really powerful, it's, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a powerful rhetorical question there. Uh, and uh, so, it, one of, in fact, one of the, the 30 uh, adult schools uh, in, in Los Angeles uh, was actually started during the Great Depression. Um, so it is just uh, it, it makes no sense uh, uh, to be closing these programs uh, in in this these economic times. Um, so yeah, so that's basically the the end of my uh, the PowerPoint presentation, and uh, uh, so I. I uh, no, I think the important 
Poland one is the, is the last is the last paragraph. The school board changed because it didn't didn't eliminate the adult education program, which means that you have succeeded. We, we were successful. So that that was the that was the major accomplishment of the campaign was to prevent the the Good idea. the uh, the program from elimination. And the school board now knows that they they uh, it's a bad idea for them to try to close these programs. They got burned. And so I think that in the future, right. they will think twice before they try to do something like that again. Um, so, and we, we have the experience and the, the know, knowledge now of how to organize an even better campaign if they try to, to, uh, to do that. So, so yeah. Uh, I hope, I hope, I hope. No. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you.